What is up, everybody? Welcome back to baseball right here on youtube.com slash Shaunasaurus Rex or perhaps live on twitch.tv slash Shaunasaurus Rex. However you're watching, thank you for watching. Today we are playing the Kansas City Royals. I went in, got my new little notebook here, took some notes and that way we kind of know what we're looking at for the players that we need to use in the lineup or that we want to use from the bullpen and get kind of a feel, a better feel for some of the players that we, uh, that we'll be having on the roster as we move forward. Um, we've done two games. We won two to one versus Cleveland. We beat San Francisco nine to nothing. San Francisco was a bit of a weird game because it felt like we were either striking out or smacking multi-run home runs. There was not really much of an in-between, which I, I think is kind of interesting. So because of the heavy deficit or the large deficit, we only used three pitchers. We used Wu for four innings. We used Adcock for 2.1 innings. And we used Sacedo for the final 2.2 innings, which is different than the five pitchers we used in the previous game. Gilbert for four, Snyder for two, uh, Bizarro for 1.1, Thornton, Thornton for 0.2 innings pitched, and Munoz for the one, and he picked up a save. So... That's kind of like who we've used. I'm going to try and balance out some of these numbers. So we'll probably see Thornton again soon. We'll probably see Bizarro a little bit uh, as well and try to get everybody with like a couple. Uh, my experience with a couple innings pitched as we work through this spring training. Um, we I did mark a couple of lineup changes that we used. I think I've made six differences between the first lineup, which I think will be more the standard lineup. And this lineup, we had Canzone in left field. Uh... Samad Taylor on second base. Gardner was our catcher. Taylor Trammell was in center field. Dylan Moore was at third, uh, third base. And that meant that Arias was at uh, the DH spot. He did technically play, or he did play in the first game. He just, he was the third baseman in the first game. So um, the, that lineup, even though it didn't have Julio Rodriguez, was more effective than the lineup with Julio Rodriguez. We're still getting into the flow of the game. Um, which I think is, is part of it. So we'll probably bring Julio back. I'm a little afraid to use him too frequently just because I don't want any sort of injury to happen because that would, uh, that would be awful. So we'll probably, we might not even use him that much and we'll try to get him, uh, some bats maybe either later in the spring training. Maybe we DH him a little bit. Um, that actually could be a good idea. Tramel in center DH Julio. Hmm. So like we, uh, I don't know if I said it, but we do have Kirby on the mound today. We have not used him. He's 1-0 so far. We are 5-1, and one, um, and I am 2-0 while playing those games. Seth Lugo is who we are facing today. He is also 1-0. Kirby with a 3-6-0 ERA, Lugo with a 1-5-0 ERA. ERA. We're going to jump into the next game. We'll play the full game. We'll go, and yeah, batting practice home is fine. Um, we've been using, I've been using the historic stadiums. I think I went the wrong way. I don't want the created classic stadiums. Um, Greenville, Hilldale. Oh, I see. I see. I gotcha. We've done the Kingdom. Could go old Texas. Could go old Atlanta. I kind of actually would like to play. Let's do old Miami. My headset like not working. Oh, there it goes. Hybrid regional quick counts off clear skies. George Kirby on the bump. Okay. So I probably should have written down more specifically what the original lineup was. So we can throw in Zavala. Zavala. Um, and we're facing we're facing a right hander. Dylan Moore, Tramel, Samad Taylor. Canzone, Marlowe, Haggerty. Haggerty's just not good against righties. Um, I think we swap out. I think maybe we DH. Uh, let's DH Rodriguez. Let's throw Trammell in center because I like Trammell, a lefty against that righty. Let's lead off with Julio, the DH. Crawford behind him. Trammell, I like him in that spot. The problem is, is his contact isn't like great and the vision's a little rough but I feel like I perform well enough with him that I I kind of just want to throw him in and and get a little bit more familiarity with him Cal Raleigh is our catcher that's fine um we actually have Ty France could probably use a day off can we do we have like another we could put Garver in at first 
Eh, screw it. Let's put Garber in it first. I don't know. Does it say any sort of like Quark's homebody, dead red, table setter, day player, first pitch hitter? Hmm, interesting. Let's do that. And then let's give uh, Urias a day off at third. We could bring Dylan Moore back into the fold. It's a little righty heavy. Do I, you know what? Do I have a lefty that can play third? Could throw Rojas over there. Yeah, let's do that. That way we balance this lineup a little bit. Contact, power. Okay. Um, let's see. We have a couple righties down there at the bottom. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, yeah. I think the lineup's probably fine. Do I flip Raleigh and Rayleigh? I think maybe that's the call. No, he has better power. Rayleigh has better contact. Mm. It's a double lefty. Let's go like that and then Polanco down here maybe. Oh, Rayleigh's speed though. Hmm. Actually, let's do that. Let's flip those two and then... I think that I think that lineup will be all right. I think it'll be all right. I don't, I'm not wildly confident in it, but thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. If you're watching on YouTube, hey, you can check out uh, you can check me out on twitch.tv slash Rex. Working on the schedule. Um, I should have a more like um, set and confirmed schedule at the end of the month, uh, toward the beginning of April. Baseball coming your way. It's the Kansas City Royals taking but on the just kind of Seattle trying to get back into the flow. And you can follow me down there. There's a link in the description. It should be clickable, which is always good. All right, we'll be back to People like clickable links. After this. Uh, let's go there. Just about ready S2. to go. Pitching in our game today, George Kirby. What should we keep an eye on here? KC pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity, and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will be here. All right, ready to get underway. Now the third baseman, Garrett Hampson. Okay. We're working our way up on the pitching difficulty. That's what I expect. Oh, and they're going to tag the pitcher. Oh, I forgot there was a pitch clock. I forgot there was a pitch clock. The pitcher must begin his Whoops. motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're looking for a little more urgency out there. That was a thousand percent my fault. I was like, I'll take a drink real quick. I'm not used to the pitch clock actually being a factor here in the games. And here now, the lineup Usually they just go fast. This is a veteran led lineup right So they, I guess you wouldn't have to worry about those animations where they Yeah, no uh, doubt about they're that like move. talking These to the umpire around, with like the baseball bat or whatever. A long time and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand Okay, well, hey, thankfully he bailed me out, so no big deal the there. Opponent, and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark. They know how to get down to business. And Ooh, 99 to speed. You don't have that 99 speed leading off? Interesting. Interesting. Two outs, is empty. And now the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. There we go. There's a little slider on the outside corner. Getting to start at shortstop. 23 years old, a former first round pick back in 2019. Okay, Pitches in there, 0 and 2. No, oh, Kirby. That was a sweet spot right there. The Royals. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. This is Mariners baseball on the show Northwest. I feel like they've been using the same hats. Like they haven't updated the spring training hats in years. So they're definitely better now. They're like they're a very nice color this year. Okay, 
Now it's the DH, Julio Rodriguez. If you're watching it live on Twitch, uh, we got more. For a little under What's it called? Million dollars when Rodriguez was just 16 years old out of the Dominican Republic. Out towards right center field, Waters. Oh, he's going to get there. Up. Damn. Nabs Not terrible contact on the first pitch play. of the game. Try to be aggressive with Rodriguez Red early. Up Left that fastball Mariners. up. We're on pretty good timing on it. Now we got more March Mascot Madness coming up for you. If you're watching this particular video on YouTube, that'll be up tomorrow. Might still be going on Twitch, so check that out. And that one fouled off. Probably not a pitch I should be swinging at. A couple inside fastballs. We're looking at a four-seam fastball, uh, a curveball at 82, a sinker at 96, a slider at 88, a circle change at 88 as well. One down, base is empty. That misses. Fastball way up in the zone. Interestingly, really it doesn't seem like the, the opposing team has to deal with the pitch clock. Make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. That's an okay swing. He's been a little generous on some of the edges. So. And here it comes. Just no, missed. Okay. Good spot it's a good there, take right there. Strike at the knees good take. Doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. That's a bad swing, but at least we get a piece of it. The 2-2. Two -two. I tried to push. I tried to push the button. That's all right. It's a good location. When you think the ball's going to get into the gutter, and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call for strike. Liner and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. That's a double. That's a double. Make it to second base with two gone. That's a double. He doesn't. Crawford doesn't have the most speed in the world, so. It takes so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there, it did, and he did it perfectly. So digging in, Cal Raleigh. Ooh, thank God. Thank God. Okay, we're good. Well, here's a chance right here for one of the better hitters on this roster to get him on the board in the first. Thanks to the three-hole hitter extending the inning, good at bat with two outs. Crawford at second with two down. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. Damn it. That's a good circle change right there. Yeah, good timing. It was a contact swing, so at least able to get something on it. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around third, yeah, we'll send him. Fires it, to the plate. it was not a good send. That was a worse throw than it was a send, and that's... It's spring training. We can try and get away with it a little bit. Bad control right there. Got a pitch on the outside. Saw it deep into the zone and just barreled it up. Went the other way for the knock. Here's Taylor. There we go. And that's what we're looking for. Just a nice little piece of hitting. A little piece of contact. That's through there that's a, this is what I'm looking a little more for here. Um, I love that we have we have a pretty good amount of power in our first four or five spots here. That's a bad swing. Got to try and drive some runs in the small way. Probably could have sent Raleigh to second. Well inside. Got me with the curveball. Way inside. Bad swing. In the inning, That's all right. We do pick up at least a run, which game. is, which is good. Couple of hits there. It wasn't. It didn't look like it was a great start, but a little too out damage. That'll that'll help things out. Now, if and we could be just a little more ballpark. consistent, second, so up now for Kansas City. offensively, I think that would be helpful. More small ball, ground. more consistency Stay in the offense. So a runner aboard to start the inning. They hug that one right down the line. No problem. 
Nelson Velasquez steps in for the Royals to the right side off balance feet. Oh. there's one a sensation oh. I can't believe we actually got that wow that was a really nice play right there really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off and about half a step great start he's really cruising out there on the mound he's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches that could set him up to go deep ah, into this hold game. it hold it i felt myself pull that one right to hit takes outside next offering is that wasn't exactly where i wanted it but that's okay Got a little splitter action maybe why to kick the pitch swings through that big swing and a miss the Royals down by a run here at the top of the second. Fouls it off, still one and two. And he deals. There we go. That's a nice slider way inside. It's a nice slider. After an inning and a half, it's one nothing. And we're back. Mitch Garver up to him here. The first baseman, Mitch Lugo, back to work. That one okay. finds Changing his location a little bit. He'd been throwing some fastballs a little more up in the zone. That's a good place to try and attack. That's inside. That's a good take. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Line drive. That's a bad swing. Early on a four seam really way on the outside. Hit the ball hard. You know, Yikes. Line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Swings and Darn it! That's right. good contact. Renfrew That's a good swing. It's a bad. It's like it. It's not even a bad. It's an unfortunate out. Not terrible. Ooh, that's a good curveball. First pitch curveball. Two out. Space is empty. That's a strike. Shit. Oh, you can throw that big curve on the inside Shit. part of the plate. Very difficult pitch for the hitter to get on plane with. You can have a lot of success if you can pitch in that location. One that ball. one not close. And a count one and two. Whoa, and a curve misses outside. Four straight curveballs? What? Swing Got me. I think it was another curveball. It was. That completes the strikeout inning over. Damn. I really didn't think he was going to throw another one of those curveballs. Damn. Back here with my pal Ziggy. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Here comes a pitch. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Kirby, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slider, a curve, and occasionally works in a splitter. This one popped up right side. Garver under it. He makes the grab. One away. Okay, so Here's Adam Frazier. Renfro. Adam Frazier, he was on our team one year. Adam. And that one is lifted in the air. Really on his way over. No trouble. There we here. go. The that was not a good pitch. And that was a terrible outs. pitch. Drew Waters stands in. That one the other way. Crawford zips it across. Okay, that was a very effective inning. Royals that was that's the kind of inning three. we're looking they for defensively. Here. One nothing.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Josh Rojas. Third baseman. Really only one bat at bat, I would argue, in that last half inning for us. Right back on that curveball again. It's just nice and calm here. See if he throws another one. Oh, why golfed a little on the late side. Darn. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. The batter, number 44. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Julio. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Hey, God damn it, it's that curveball. Curveball. Slow down, slow down. There we go. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. A base hit right on it. Perfect, perfect. That's a little more what I'm looking for from Lugo. That's the stuff he's kind of been throwing for us, especially on that first pitch. Okay, so what was I playing? Oh, I was playing the video that I guess will come out probably tomorrow night. I was right. In the Conquest mode, I was looking at Diamond Dynasty a little bit. Replay is the first option, and then Manager is the second option. But it's flipped here, and it's awful, and I hate it. Okay, so let's see. Who who can we kind of even out here? Do I bring in fresh arms that we've not thrown with? Um, ideally, I like to try and have everyone right around two innings pitched or so. I guess we could bring in... Well, okay. So we've used Adcock, Sacedo. Thornton hasn't pitched a whole lot. But we used Snyder... And Bizarro. So let's go down here. Spire? Spear? I don't have him written down. So we'll warm up a lefty. And then we'll use Vargas as well. So ideally we'll get him. Let's see. We'll get our starter through four. That'll be through six through eight. And then maybe we just kind of keep using Munoz for saves. Or maybe we use one of these guys. They're pretty lowly rated. I think, that, I think Seattle, that can work. Luke perfect, Raley. perfect. Can't imagine that it'll go for that. That's what and I thought. That is it was a fastball low it in the zone. That's a great take. One and one. Pitch, out. pitch out. But nothing going on. Rodriguez over at first with one away. Check Oops. on the runner, and he's no, back he's in, in easily. There. Ball to strike. The pitch. Leaps and he's oh. got it. I think it's going to be a tough to double play. The speed bailed me out time. there. Great Again, thought there. I was lower in the thing. God, JP Jimmy. Crawford gets a chance to hit. A lot of forcing fastball. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Damn. Oh, we were like right on it, but just not enough carry. Gross. I don't even know if that's a, if it's a perfect, perfect. I don't know if it gets over his glove. You hope that it just carries enough. Looks like that's a really, really deep. The pitch. Uh, outfield there in center. In there. I don't know what the Hampson. I don't know what the depth season. is. Twenty nine years old, usually a short stop, but today starts at third. And that now we should also write off. down which uh, which One parts we use. That he does not have to cover as much ground. So those balls to his left. Remember that you got a good shortstop that can make the backhanded play. Three. For you. Here we go. There's a nice strikeout. Three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Here's the left fielder, Tyrone yeah. Blanco. He's over one. And there's the strike. Just need some hits to drop. We're, I mean, we're Top we're hitting the ball okay. Four. We're making some good contact. We've only gotten frozen. We here's had some trouble with the curveball. We got frozen with a strike or a fastball. Excuse me on the outside part of the plate. 
Other than that, like we're kind of on right what he side. wants to do. Mm, I don't know that I'm really going to beat that out. It's a misplay at first. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Not his typical spot, so. That's a, it's a poor decision on my part. I, I don't know that Gilbert gets over there, honestly. NL history to have 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in each of his first two seasons, boo. The other player, Julio Rodriguez. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Lead runner makes the turn at second. He's in there. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle, didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Perez in the box now, takes strike one. Runners are at the corners, one away. The this is going to be a tough now, double play long turn long. here, so I think All actually I would like... Spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and a pop-up. Crawford settles underneath it. Two away. Okay. It's kind of yeah, looking for the uh, the strikeout there, which isn't typically what I'm looking like for. And that spot, I want to turn the double play. But that. with 99 speed on Nelson both first Velasquez and third, the, the single out isn't the worst so situation to work with. This to third. It's in and out of his glove. In to score from third. Two errors. Two errors. And now no here is way. Garver, I understand. I have him in a, a different spot. I get that. It is his secondary position. Rojas is technically in a secondary position as well. Darn. Squantino. A little surprised that that does not qualify as a as an error. And that's off the inside edge. I guess he still was able to pick up the ball. I don't know. Wit on second. Velasquez on at first with two now. And he pumps it a strike. We're kind of lucky to even have the one run that we do, so it's, I guess, not the biggest. Hmm. Have anything super off speed? Oh. Here's a one two. And a foul. Curveball was in a great location. I actually wanted that one lower. Let's try and get him to swing over the top of it. Damn it. Still a one and two count. He's on that fastball. Two outs. Throw it again. Base runners at first and second. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer. There we go. Hit connect on the curve. Okay. So we give up a couple hits. We get an error charge to us. And maybe not a great decision there, right there to try and run to the ball. I don't know that he's going to get there. I guess that, maybe just give it a shot. I, I don't know. It's a it's a weird decision there. It's a tricky one to make. That'll probably be it for Kirby as we get him through four, and we'll bring in some new pitchers in five and six. Welcome back, and they turn to a new arm as we kick off for the fifth and sixth, and then another one for the seventh and eighth. Still pretty early, and then we'll see kind of where things go. Paul Reagan's best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Cal Raleigh. Oof, foul. Well, these Killer. Mariners just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Sean, Can they turn Sean, that around and stay Sean, within the zone? Sean. We'll see, but I think they have to. 99 on the fastball, very late on that one. 88 circle change, cutter at 94, curveball at 84, slider at 89. Great. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for a strike. Three. There's, I mean, there's just no Taylor excuse Trammell for that swing. Up next for the Mariners. Pitch misses, and it's one to no. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. The pitch. That's ball two. Having a little trouble picking up the ball. Also probably need to see a little more where he wants to go with it. Fouls one off. God dang it. I two two. 
felt like that was going to be a check swing, but there was a check swing earlier that I thought was going to be a full swing. One down, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. Gets it to first. Oh. Two up, two down. So two down now, and here is Mitch Garver. That one hammered center field. Waters going back. Grabs it right up against the wall. Fifth inning coming up. Tied at one. It's just Ready one of those days. Inning. We are getting Down contact on these balls, and we just cannot get them away from the defenders. All right, let's bring this guy in. On the mound now, Gabe Spire. Well, Gabe Spire. He has a little extra in the now, tank facing his former man. team, and no, there's not a player in the there. league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against... 69 games, noise. Uh, let's do this. Let's cut this in just a little bit. Just cut this out there. The pitch. That's There's a there. strike. Well, these Royals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well. Oh. And on the mound, mm -hmm. you know, confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. In all game, even though he just came in five pitches ago? Wow, unbelievable. Adam Frazier Adam. steps in for the Royals. Right through there That's a nice the pitch right there, even though it was like six degrees to the right. You know I love a high inside fastball. Got him. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Swing and oh, ball oh, 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 Should have this one. Thought it was going to be the pitcher, so I pushed up. I think the game kind of overtook there. And next up for the Royals, Drew Waters. Grounded out his first time. There's a strike. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. And a foul ball. Up the middle. Polanco. And that one handled. Tosses nice play. To nice play at second, Polanco. There we go. The bats are quiet there. Okay. The score remains deadlocked at one. It's so, it seems like the other teams are bringing in pitchers like more frequently. And that's exactly what's happening. I, they must use one, like, go an inning at a time. Obviously, they're playing, like, four times more games than I am, so. That's a bad swing. That's a bad swing. So 92 on a fastball. So on top out at 93. A sweeping curve. That could be trouble at 82. 12-6 curve is also at 82. A sinker's at 93. And a circle change is at 88. Having a little trouble with the shadow here. That's at least what, what, what I'll, I'll blame it on. We are halfway through today's game. That's a bad swing. That is a bad swing. And we're early on it. One, two. That's outside. Okay. Good take. Better. Better approach there. Probably should be a 3 1 count, but. Wouldn't chase that time. On the ground, oh, right listen. side, Frazier. Still early. And Polanco is oh, out. Oh, this fastball is just and now so... And right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Down the line. 
And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Wait, where was the... Oh, shoot, where was the... Was I late? That Early? That inside, almost got him. Bases empty, one away. Last half of inning, number five. Oh, God. That very early. Oh. Okay, Fouls all right. Off, okay. At least fouled it off. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around. Yep, yeah, there it is. Fuck. It's the curveball. It's a sweeping curve. We've seen a curveball. We're going to see a sweeping curve or a 12-6 curve. And then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these that's days, that's a devastating combination. God damn it. Rojas stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Fuck. God fucking fuck. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. It's a good take there. Center field. Waters on the move. Snags it on the run. And that is that. We played five full. Tied at one aside. Gross. And welcome back to the ballpark. Oh, this is the, the six, hitting Shami performance you just and don't want to see. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's where it starts to get like a little like I don't know if irritating right is the right field. word or what. But it's it's play. when you have those good pieces of contact, you yeah. don't get them to drop and then you can't get any contact that's good. And it's just like, man, if I could have had some of those other things a little bit better. But one out, base that's okay. is empty. The name of the game, we're all right. And he grounds one to the right side. And foul. don't worry about diving. Please do not injure any of your players. Just did that to steps. poor Colton really Wong in the team, last season. Two strikes. And that oh just my God! Really Fuck. Hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. There we go. Um, went to dive for a ball with Colton Wong, but the like the division was wrapped up. Everything was like fine. All I had to do was not injure my players, and he was out for the out for the postseason. I felt very bad about it. Bobby Witt Jr. and first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on, and we're the top half of the sixth. There's a strike at the knees, and it's nothing in two. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one back there. 434 in that corner. Gross. Gross. A uh, terrible pitch. He gets through two innings pretty cleanly, so I will be okay with it, but ugh, can't pay it off of that. That's. I mean, at least their hits are kind of dying as well. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jonathan Bolden. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Julio Rodriguez digs in now, one for two. Four-seam at 99, slider at 88, changeup at 88. Two-seam at 99. We're almost in the shadow area. And that's all the inside Good take right there. I think that'll help. Never Sometimes moved. it just he feels like we have to fight to. that. But that kind of velocity, you That's okay. That That's okay. Away. Right down the shoot, and a count even one and one. And that's in for a strike. Oh, really? Man, he left. Mm. A one, two. And oh, another ball. Down. He's in the zone. He's been in this spot. I don't work late on it, but slice it into right. He was either in the zone in the lower right corner, or he was out of the zone mid left. He got the job done right there. Luke Rayleigh up next for the Mariners. There's a little. 
There it is. Swung on and belted. Really, let's go. Okay, I like this piece of the lineup. I really like the top four. I feel like it's going to be pretty set. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy. I love Rodriguez as a leadoff with the speed. I love Rayleigh with the speed. He has good power as well. Rodriguez has good power in, as well as, as Rayleigh. I feel good with J.P. Crawford. I know he's not the most, like, powerful dude statistically, but being able to get him consistent pieces of contact, I think will help drive in a lot of runs, having speed in front of him. We don't have a lot of speed on this team. Um, and then Raleigh behind that. I like it. I'm seeing what he's doing here. Let's go. Now we're starting no, to get no into a little bit of a right flow. There. He's he leaving some fastballs up. Oh, I kind of saw it. I wasn't inside enough early on it. He's a pretty Two good speed reduction the there. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Gonna be about eleven miles an hour. In the air out to center. Oh, just, Waters under this one. Just late. Oh, Squeezes it. And there's one down. And now Taylor Trammell. Unfortunately, that's going to be caught. This one up. Damn it. Oh, I thought we, yeah, I thought we had grab. that one a little better. Yeah, Darn it. I think Trammell. I'd like to see if I can get Trammell to make yeah, the team as well. Um, him in the five spot, I think, is good. Over their heads. Oh, in the first out. pitch misses for ball one. Wouldn't Two chase that no time. Play. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. The next pitch misses. Three okay. Three oh, we gotta just we gotta take here. And that's, okay, that's fine. All the way up near a hundred. That was a walk, Sean. You can't throw that away. First, a lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Adam looking for the K. It's a bad way to end. It should have been two on, two out. On this Seattle homer. But we got the it's home run. It, it's a disappointing ball. end, but it's it's Welcome it is what it is. Okay, they're gonna start bringing in a lot of subs here late in this one. I typically don't do that. We are going to warm up. We have a lot of a lot of pitchers to use. Yeah, we'll go ahead and warm up Munoz. We can pop right back into the Lead it off. right back Kyle into the spell. bullpen. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Carlos Vargas. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. I mean, that's a strike. I already kind of like the speed that we're working with here. 97 on that fastball. See so if we can figure out his location here. I should like this pitching selection. Repertoire. Mmm. 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 Can we find the zone, please? Excuse you? want to play with it on the edge of the zone there. I guess this is probably just a good opportunity to just throw a bunch of strikes. I'm probably being too cute with it. So you should look at. Should feel a little better with all of his pitches.
So we mop them yeah, two seam. The here with that good live arm delivers. Oh, there it is. That one's in there. There it is. That is strike one, Vargas. A 6'4 righty, 24 years old, and he was born in the Here we go. Pump. There we Which go. That's what we are talking careful. about. They're working with too big a lead, they could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. And that one gets down fair ball. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Ladies and gentlemen. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, okay. he was Slow down, able settle to down. meet it and It was a little too cute on my part. The tying run at the plate. Hmm. Home plate umpire is trying to tighten things up a little bit. Uh, it's a bad a pitch, but thankfully a strike. Swing and a miss. And it's it's a, a good two. swing and miss right there. In the air, center field. Polanco on the move. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Throw back in quickly. First Man. and second now with nobody out. Just a little blue shot. He represents the uh. goal-ahead run. First off, bring it just misses. I like I like the speed and I like that a there's a two seam, a four seam, and a slider, but the location is a huge problem here. Softly hit to third. Wide throw and it gets away. Oh, the throw is Stop low. throwing the goddamn ball. First and second, no outs. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Pitch misses, and that is ball. We are falling apart. This is a bad defensive setup. I know one of the decisions was like kind of like, fuck it, we can keep Ty France. So the tying run like off second. the plate. In the air to left, down the line. Really sizing this one up. Makes the catch one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming well, I don't, I don't of love Urias at third. That, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And that one fouled off. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball. I am being a little ball, stubborn leaving him in here. Up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. And ball one. Too fast. Way Way down. That pitch down. And that one a little bit Buddy. Man, oh, oh my man. God. I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. So up next, Drew Waters. First pitch misses. I mean, he's not missing by much, and that's, I think, what's so irritating about it. We're also, we've lost a little bit of the flow with his, with the with his timing. Second, go ahead, run it first. Here the top half of inning number seven. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two on, two outs. This one popped up. Makes the grab, and that's the end. Okay. Um, Jermaine left stranded, but they do push across one. What? Midway in inning number seven, <laughs> and it's time to stretch. It's I gotta, I gotta hit LB a bunch to cancel those throws. That was kind of, that was how we gave up a run in one of the. The last MLB The Show 23 video that I posted, which was against the Miami Marlins, where it was just like, that game was to hell. That game was fucking hell, and I hated it. Now the game, Austin Nola. He takes over behind the plate. And in for the Mariners, Jorge Polanco. 4C but 96, a curveball. 12-6 curve at 83, a two-seam fastball at 97. And he goes with the 12-6 curve. All right, let's get another arm warmed up here. Um, 
Sasato, I believe we used. We did. We can try. We can try Levi Strout. Or Stout. And then we'll leave uh, we'll leave Munoz in there. Kick Sandios. On its way to the corner. Mm. And that is a foul. Late ball. thought I saw that a little better. I saw where he wanted to go at least. Next ball. offering is down low. One ball, two strikes, but down. Anderson ready to work. Misses. Okay. And the count is even two and two. Glad that that was a ball. Uh, obviously, because it would have been a strikeout. We saw a lot of pitches on the edge of the zone. Kicks and fires. No, 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 Kicks no. And swing. no. Oh, Appeal down to third. And that's going to be ruled a swing. Block, oh. well, oftentimes that's, that's on me. He's trying to set up the curveball. He'll lean on it pretty heavily. So you got to be expecting it. Look for it and sell out so you don't miss it when you get it. Hanniger, hey. for the third time as he comes up empty there. Bullpen action for the Royals. Angel Serpa up and loosening in the pit. I was looking for the curveball. That was what he let off with last time. Checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And he He's held so back late. according to Larry Curveball's way too much in my brain here. Good nope. eye in that spot. It's, it was a nice one. I hit A and got lucky. Fuck, oh, that 12-6 curve drops. And a pitch. Breaking ball inside. And it's three and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now, Josh Rojas. That one missing inside. At the belt and fires. Comes up empty as he chases that one. Jesus the fucking Christ. Two down, nobody I the fucking the hate that 12 6 curve. That one I actually hate playing foul. in this stadium. I, it is really hard in the daylight to pick up the ball. It's kind of blending in with the blue in the back. Two outs. Line drive, base hit. The blue and the like, the dolphin teal. Ugh. Just a really nice approach I thought that the shading that would help, but it just field. has not. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the oh, plate. That's fine. Doesn't come naturally for most Ball six curve Robert on the outside. The batter now as he DH in here swing. with Julio. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he's swung on, felt it. Deep. That one went back there, and that one's going to land not so much here, but here. Another homer. I love home Luke Rayleigh. Are you kidding me? Second home run of the day? A three run blast? Let's go. He has five ribbies. Rayleigh, we're paying off nicely with kind of figuring out where things are going. We were able to do it with Julio a little bit, and we got the first runner on as well with that. But really, we've been able to cash in fully. I think that maybe means that we try to use a different person up top, like a Crawford, who I feel... Not that I feel bad with Julio, but I would rather have Julio's speed on. But we got... We got Crawford on. Hmm. Because of it. Interesting. Man. 
two out three run blast. Oh God, that curveball yeah, first showed off up. Is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Cap dances out of the way of that one. Damn. This one in the air. Prado drifts towards it. And that'll do it. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now 6-2. Back down as it'll be a pinch hitter okay. lead off. So we're a little in, we're in a, uh, we are in a better spot to leave this pitcher in. I like the velocity. Back to work. And first off, That's a better location. Off. I like the velocity and I like the pitching repertoire. I love an off-speed mixed with two high-velocity fastballs that we can move around the zone just a little and bit. There's a, foul ball. a better location on both of those pitches. See if we can put them away here and at the right top of the deals. zone. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Rojas drifts towards it and a foul ball. I mean, we got a swing on it. Just here's so. the 0-2. Rip towards third. There's a good play by Rojas. The there we go. First out in the top of the eighth. Now batting. Left fielder. Dyro. Now a pitch hitter coming on for the Royals. Tyler Royals. Gentry. One out. Number the base is empty for him. Tyler Gentry. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Ball oh. one there. Base is empty one away, yeah. and we're at the top yeah. of the eighth. Yeah, that was a pretty good location. Probably should have been two strikes, but I guess a 1-1 one -one count's pretty okay. That's center. And there we go. And there are two down. So You're now a pinch clear. hitter, MJ now Melendez. Looking for a two-out okay. spark, but the base is empty. Melendez. And a good eye there. Swing and a line so we now have a four-run lead, which means we right don't need side. to use Munoz. But what we can do here is we can sit him down, and then we can bring in... We can use... We'll use... Uh, Thornton, maybe? We do have Strout, I guess, that we could lean on. Uh, actually, here, let's sit him down and we'll do bats. We'll do Bizarro and. Yeah. Two outs. Thornton. Aye. Okay. So that'll do him two innings. First Royals. inning was a little rough. I would say it not here. entirely his fault. It's I don't think that's two. like a hard thing to buy into. He got a little goofed from the defense behind him. So um, location is a concern. Location is a concern because we, and maybe it's on me. I need to be pitching a little more in the zone right off the bat in those warmups and just going like, okay, we're going to get things going here and we're going to, we're going to put pitches in the strike zone to boost the confidence. Then we start playing on the edges. Um, it, it got a little weird. We fell apart a little bit. And first offering is fouled off. Late. The wind of the pitch. But it was a better second inning. We, we did. We commanded the zone a little better. And now two and one. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. Four seam at 95, curveball at 84. We've seen three of those already. Slider at 88, changeup at 83, sinker at 95. 
Sean, that was a walk. Buddy. And the count's full. That looks like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That pitch was way up. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's okay. looking Well, we should have one on drive. with nobody out. Just, expanded the just a terrible swing. I wasn't looking anywhere near it. And now for Seattle, Taylor Trammell. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Number five in the five hole. Oh, I wanted that curveball. Wanted it a little more, but God, I, I swear I'm looking lower. Righty delivers. Swung on, belted. Way back there. Foul, foul ball. Righty to the plate. Hangs on to the foul tip. That's a strikeout. Committed to the low part of the zone there. And that strikeout is just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Gets under and pops it up. Massey has this one sized up. And that's the third out. Yeah. Mariners are down. Okay. So let's and bring in... Who did we pitch with less? Thornton. Okay. We'll bring in Trent Thornton, Thornton here. Into the game, and he's got a nice the point two innings we pitched so with him. Come in we could get him to one point two, hitters. which is right around where I'd like to see just about everybody in the bullpen. Um, and we're going to play a good number of games early, so we might end up with some some players who pitch a little more. Okay, already missing a couple of spots here. Pitch. Oh, Just good missed. God. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Yeah, at least that one was just kind of left. It's a little fastball a here. Patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. The one, two. Up the middle. Polanco. Jumps, throws. Nice play there, Polanco. Nice play. I do like Samad Taylor in there for his speed. His bat's a little bit of a concern. I think you would have to kind of probably pick between like Haggerty and uh, Samad Taylor. I don't think you could have both of them offensively. That's strike one. The Royals down by four. Haggerty does pit night. pretty well against the left lefties. Down the right side. So here we go. Throw for a loop there. Let's go. Put this game away, huh? Right there, not much to it, and I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where. You could sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, "How did I miss that?" But you know what happens. You won. That one missed. Tried to throw him off there because he, he with a slurve and a sinker, a curveball, probably thinking mostly low in the zone, and then two down, nobody on. Um, try and find a you know try to fire a high, high and tight fastball. This Out of location, hopefully you're anticipating. That was a and fucking a terrible right pitch. Side, foul territory. Garver drifts towards it. That'll do it. Okay. So we're three and zero oh here. It's a weird thing where 
that's what brings mm. out the best knowing that I don't know this is kind today, of a weird game we okay so we got some good contact lose, they just kept finding gloves that's just level. unfortunate nice that sucks your final, six to two. but we were able to pile in some runs so really huge in this game five ribbies he went long twice went deep twice but it helps, you know, it's, it wasn't just solo home runs. We're getting Julio on base. We're getting Polanco on base. We're getting... I don't know who else was on base, but... Defensive issues were there. Um, I We had a couple guys in secondary positions. So, like, the Garver thing, we probably wouldn't use him at first all that often. I mean, maybe we do. I don't know. I don't know. I think there's some interesting things you could do with this lineup. I like what we're getting out of uh, out of a lot of the pieces, especially in the top half of it. We did we struggled with Hanniger today. Hmm. Luke Rayleigh, your player of the game, two for four. When he got contacts, he went deep. Two home runs, five ribbies, two runs. Your player of the game, Gabe Spire. He gets the win. Two innings pitched, no hits. One strikeout, no walks, no earned. Jonathan Bowen, Bolin, he gets the loss. He pitched one inning. He gave up two earned on three hits, one strikeout. Uh, Crawford was two for four. He had a double, scored a run. Rodriguez was three for four with two runs. That is the kind of line we want to see. And that's why you kind of go like, okay, Rodriguez, let's put him in that top spot. Let's put Crawford right behind him. And then we put Raleigh and R Rayleigh and Raleigh right in there as well. Raleigh was one for four. He knocked in a run. Probably should have had a double because they went home with it. It was a it was a questionable send. Um, yeah, in interesting game. Interesting game. I think we're getting I think we're getting a, a feel for how this team's going to work, which is we're going to have a lot of uh, I think we're going to have a lot of long balls and we're going to have to really be patient with some po portions of the lineup, but I'm wondering if I can figure it out to where we have like, like Taylor Trammell, I think is better in the bottom part of the lineup. I think that's where we did a lot of damage with him previously. Hmm. So maybe we move him down there. Speed's going to be the issue. Kind of wonder if putting Rayleigh at the two spot with Crawford behind him with Raleigh behind him, something like that. I don't know. It's it's, it's interesting. It's it's kind of a it's a roster that I want to take a look at, and it's a roster that I want to um, that I want to do have more of a hands on approach with, which is not something that I typically do with these games. I just let the computer do whatever. Uh, I do wonder if we need to maybe go try and find another guy with some speed. We do have Haggerty, who will be great off the bench, but with Haggerty and with uh, Samad Taylor, they just don't bat very well, and that that's the that's the problem. Um, let's see. I don't remember what our next game is, so I'm not going to worry about simulating. We could do Colorado here in game number four. But I think the next one is the Angels, maybe. And then we have Colorado later in the season. Um, I might have to look up and see where, like, cuts and stuff happen. So we can try and get as much time as possible to get through everybody. And then we play, like, a couple games toward the end of the preseason to kind of dial in where the roster is sort of situation. So we could play in or at Colorado or we could play home against Colorado later. We have Texas twice as well. The only game that's going to be locked in... The, oh, there's two Los Angeles games. Never mind. I thought that there was only one. Um, but we'll figure it out, and you'll be able to watch it tomorrow. And actually, no. Actually, we're going to take tomorrow. Won't be a spring training game on YouTube. We'll be back Tuesday with more spring training. Tuesday through Thursday. Um, and tomorrow, you'll be able to watch me check out some, uh, some Diamond Dynasty stuff. If you are interested in that so check that out um maybe later tonight on twitch maybe i do like a what's it called battle royale run or something i don't know um yeah i did not mean to go to that screen i meant to go to this screen 
Time to say goodbye. YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Twitch, stick around. We got more content coming for you right now, or uh, very, very soon. Subscribe right over there. You can uh, click the bell down below if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, but subscribe right on over there. Over here, you can check out the whole baseball playlist. Everything is there for MLB The Show 24. And up there, you can watch this morning's video, which was March Mascot Madness, day number five. Thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for more baseball action. Tuesday, we'll be back in spring training. Appreciate you hanging out. Good sports, good Mariners, and good night.